Hi, this is Dr. B. In this video we're going to talk about the shape of molecules and do a few examples. So we're really talking about molecular geometry, bond angle, hybridization, and polarity. So for NH3, that's kind of a one-dimensional structure. We know how many of each type of atoms we have, but we really don't know their arrangement. When we draw the Lewis structure, we now have a better idea of how the atoms and valence electrons are oriented. We've moved from one dimension of the chemical formula to the two-dimensional Lewis dot structure. With information from the Lewis dot structure, we're now ready to move to three dimensions and really look at the molecular geometry. So here's our NH3 molecule, and you'll recognize there's two lone pair electrons on top, like we saw in the Lewis structure. The blue's the nitrogen, the H's are white. We can visualize the charge, the electrostatic charge of the molecule, and you can see with this mesh around here, the top is a little bit more negative than the bottom, the red down here. That tells us a lot about the polarity. We can even draw an arrow through the molecule showing the most positive and the most negative parts of the molecule. So the bottom, the red, is positive. On the top, that's more negative. All of this information is really important and it tells us a lot about how the molecule might react with other molecules or how it might physically behave, like its boiling point or viscosity. If you're able to draw Lewis structures, you're really only a few steps away from coming up with the molecular shape the bond angles, and the hybridization. We looked at NH3, which is a pretty straightforward example, but this molecule here, caffeine for instance, really follows the same rules. We can take a look at the molecular surface and see the positive and the negative sides of the molecule. We can look at the polarity and see overall which side is more negative and which side is more positive. These things all help us understand, as scientists, how the molecule is going to react, either with our bodies or other chemicals that we might be working with. And that's why it's important to learn how to do the Lewis structures to then figure out the shape of the molecule. Finally, once we have the molecule, we can use computers to actually predict how that molecule might be moving in three dimensions. And it's kind of cool. This is Dr. B. And thanks for watching.